Alvira Capablino is the head of the trauma care department of the Tarkov Central City Hospital, more commonly known by her alias therapist, and it's unfortunate that she's not an actual therapist as this is something all of the community desperately needs. On the bright side, this is probably the closest most Tarkov players will get to speaking to a woman. To kick things off, she gives you shortage, saying she can always provide food and drinks, not mentioning the food is just crackers and the water is heavily overpriced, asking you to get her some emergency medical car kits, stating we have to find them in combat, we can't just buy them. Having just done this at the start of Wipe, I can say for sure we found them in combat, and I never want to see this hell hole again. Operation Aquarius will have you stealing water from scavs. Usually I'd be opposed to taking water away from people, but my care for scavs is like my penis. Minuscule. In part 2, therapist starts to show her dark side, ordering you to not only kill scavs, but to do it in a way that will make them suffer. Well, don't you worry. For sanitary standards, therapist has a suspicion that poison is leaking into the water, so she has you go find a gas analyzer. You'll spend hours upon hours looking for this one till eventually you do, and imagine your surprise when straight away she wants two more. You nasty bitch. Honestly, these are fucking cursed, I'm calling it. This will straight up take you a hundred raids minimum, then as soon as you find it, it's literally raining them. You couldn't get away from them if you fucking tried. They're pouring out of filing cabinets, all of the tech light shells have them, and every scav you spawn in with has at least three. Next up, you're grabbing morphine, where therapist infers that you're not a complete monster. So as well as being a doctor, she's clearly a very poor judge of character. It seems like the best place to find these is crack house. If you want to keep your sanity, I've also found that it's best to be on crack. For pharmacist, therapist mentions a a medical friend of hers who left a certain bit of equipment in his dorm room. She says he tried to get out in his blue vase, sorry to be the burden of bad news, but he got about as far as I did with those flash drives I found. Not only is she sending you to dorms, thanks, you also need to spend half of your stash on a useless key. Car battery as you're obtaining spark plugs and batteries to help evacuate women and children, just like real life, the men don't get to leave, they just die. Disease history is how future historians will talk about Tarkov wipes. Therapist talks about a new vaccine that's been discovered, proving her insanity in full force. Vaccines obviously aren't real. You're sent to reserve to obtain medical records, presumably yours, so you can be treated after you get back. Supply plans will send you to the sawmill to collect terror group documents. All I can say about this is... Healthcare privacy is therapist's only several part quest line. For part one, you're using Peacekeeper's sponsor, hashtag MS2000, to mark ambulances on shoreline, desperately hoping they have the meds to heal all of those wounds from resort. Part 2, Resort Again. I think Therapist has spent a bit too much time with Peacekeeper. Part 3, she sends you to gather blood samples because she clearly wasn't happy with the amount she's taken from me already. Part 4, she advises us to pay attention to our health, which is a fucking joke because she's the last person with our health in mind. Part 5, you're dropshipping gunpowder for mechanics so Therapist can access his internet. Probably the first time mechanic's spoken to a woman he hasn't created. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, requires you to part with 400k for a vaccine. Not much to some, but to me this is 90% of my stash. For athlete, you need to prove that physical conditions and illnesses won't stop us, as if the multiple shoreline attempts haven't already proven that. General wares will have you searching for food because therapist is running low on supplies, which is pretty strange because to reward you for this, she gives you a bunch of food. Colleagues part 1 has you looking for a medic. This quest is actually kind of fun, if your idea of fun is dying all over shoreline. In Colleagues part 2, therapist reveals that the medic you're looking for is actually Sanitar, which is the equivalent of calling Joseph Mengel a nurse. Colleagues part 3 is the most doable quest yet. Don't worry, I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. Out of curiosity, how many quests are going to have me using these things, and with the amount of money I spent on these keys, I could have actually finally had a real gun to raid with. I'm having an existential crisis trying to find these stupid items. In Seaside Vacation, a quest that sounds a lot more pleasant than it is, you need to find some information for therapists that she says she'll pay a high price for, which is apparently an eighth of a vaccine. Population Census has you finding a list of residents so therapists can determine how many people have gone missing in the city. Why she needs to be wasting time doing this is unclear, but considering her history with D people, at this point I'm too scared to ask. Therapist, from her own accounts, is a pretty ruthless individual. She has strong ties to Terror Group and operates like a Mexican cartel boss. If I were you, I'd stay very far away. 